Hello everybody, welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today, we are reviewing this extremely cheap weight set. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm scared. It's 100 pounds. Um, it's very cheap. The link will be in the video description where you guys can get this. It's almost $100 cheaper than the competition weights for 100 pounds. So I'm worried about this. There are some reviews people said it showed up cracked. So I'm a little scared opening this. So we will see. So the biggest thing will be the weights. As long as the weights aren't cracked, broken, or leaking, I will be happy because a bar we can buy if the bar is really as cheap as people say. Um, okay. So far, I don't see any damage. Let's zoom, switch this camera angle here. Give me a moment. So it looks like we have these kind of connectors. Um, I think that's different than what the photo showed though. Um, so here's the bar. I'm trying to decide what does this slide in? Looks like this might slide in. So here it looks like we have a manual or some sort. Yeah, just different workouts you can do. Here's 15 pounds. Um, it's dented here a little bit. It does not appear to be leaking. So that 15 pound weight is okay. Here's a 25 pound weight. Oh man, those seams, you get they're they look like they're ready to crack. Because all it yeah, those seams scare me a little bit right here because they're cracked and open, but I don't think the weight itself is cracked, so we might be all right. We might be able to just melt that plastic and um, reseal that with other plastic. So that 25 pound weight seems all right for now. Um, here's a 10 pound weight. There we got a little nick in it. You can see right there, it got smashed, but it's not broken through, so it's good. Uh, I mean, it's good for now anyway. So it seems all right. Oh, let's check this other 10 pound weight. There, you gotta cut a cracked piece in that one. So that's ready to come out. We can duct tape this whole thing, like put a duct tape around it. Uh, I think that's going to be the smartest thing we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take duct tape, go around the, all the seals, just to, and probably around the weight as well, just to you know keep it together better. Uh, here we got another 15 pound weight. That seems okay. Seems like the seals are a little cracked. So I think duct tape is going to be our best friend for this kit. So far, I'm not seeing what a lot of people have posted photos on. So I don't know if this kit is an updated kit. There we got another uh, dent in it, but it doesn't seem like it's going to affect it at all. So, okay, I guess we are all right. Now the only thing is the bar. And Pete, that's where people have complained. They said once all the weight's on the bar, it actually uh, bends the bar when a full 100 pounds is on it. So we're going to open this. Up here, we're going to slide however this goes. Um, looks like, let's go like that. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a cheap bar. Um, how do these pins go? These pins don't look like they. So these pins are interesting. Well, the pins look like they just simply stick in. That's not... Okay, so it looks like these pins, all they do is stick in. 
the pins you put in to keep the bars connected together, they just slide right in. There's nothing to keep them in. So what we're going to do, we're going to duct tape around that as well. I mean, maybe we're going to get a hammer and we're going to hammer those pins in um, and see if we can hammer them in. Let's see what if the directions say anything about that. Because those pins are definitely not sturdy. Uh, let's see. It says put it through the hole. Um, insert. Yeah, it just says insert inner bar into outer bar and align the indicator holes. Okay, use a hammer. Tap the two pins into the holes until they are flush with the outer bar. So yes, yeah, so you do take a hammer and you hammer this in here. But we are also going to wrap it in duct, duct tape. Um, just to be extra uh, cautious. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that right now and see if this bar is an updated bar or not. Um, so far, you know, for the value, I'm very happy. So, guys, I mean, overall, I'm still happy. Um, I do need to get duct tape, and like I said, I'm going to put duct tape around the weights around the seams just for extra precaution. Okay, that's flush. All right, that's flush and we got little things coming out of the ends of the pipes here. <laughs> All right, so. We're going to go get duct tape and we're going to start wrapping everything, um, like I said, just as an extra precaution. Since it's so bright at the windows, it makes the camera darker. And don't mind our dishwasher. Not dishwasher, our uh, washing machine. So, we are going to do 25 pounds, 15 pounds, and 10 pounds. I forget how much the bar weighs. It only feels like maybe five, six pounds. So there's the 25 pounds. You know, that duct tape probably added a good 35 pounds, you know. We probably should uh, say this is 135 pounds. <laughs> so it's actually technically, um, the bar is anywhere from 6 to 12 pounds, I think it said. And sorry about, again. So these things are kind of chintzy. So I hope they keep the weights on good. If not, we're gonna have to get other ones. This is a lot of weight. You're talking 106 to 110 pounds. The weights are 100 pounds all together. Um, it's 25 pounds, 15 pounds, and 10 pounds. So there's 50 pounds per side, and these things at the end do scare me. I don't think we can curl 100 pounds, especially since we haven't worked out for a long time. I mean, even lifting... So lifting 100 is heavy. Um, 
So, can we curl 100 pounds, guys? Let me know. I am 195 pounds. I have not been to the gym for, oh goodness, five, six years. Uh, I have some barbells here at home that I just started working out with, so here we go. 105 to 110 pounds. Oh man, that is heavy. Oh, I don't, I don't think we can curl that. Whew. We got halfway. We had a little momentum, but that, that's a lot of weight to curl. So we had momentum with that one. I had momentum at pulling off and curling it. But a, a, a direct curl like this, with perfect form, it's too heavy for me to do a direct one. For now, we'll stick to doing these until we build up the muscles. Even that's a lot of weight for a guy like me that has not been to a gym. Man, that is loud, isn't it? Now let's see if we can do this. Well, we can lift 100 pounds with our right hand. My right hand stronger than I think the left is. Gotta get it even. Ah! Woo! That's a lot of weight, guys. Wow. So, what if we have support? Could we do it? Nope. I don't know if I, if I, even with momentum, if I could get it curled again. Not too bad. So. Okay. Final review. I am beat. Oh man. I'm glad I'm starting to get back in shape though. Whew. Okay. So our little duct tape weight set for more than half a cost savings. This set originally you would pay $115 to $250 depends on if it's got their name on it. With a little duct tape to secure things, putting the price in, we are going to have to say, I give this set an 8 out of 10. Now if it had come broken and unusable like some people have claimed it has, then of course I would have to give it a 0 out of 10. But because it came, you know, some of the seals we're splitting right in here. So with duct tape, I think they're gonna stay on pretty good. So I have to say, I'm happy with that. I think it's a great product. Cheaply made, but you get what you pay for. And I think it's gonna do the job just fine. If you are one of those high type people that have to have everything perfectly, then go ahead and spend the $250 for the most highest Gold's Gym name brand um, weight set, you know, the more money you can spend, the better quality you're going to get. So go ahead and waste $250. But I can understand if you want to waste $250, you could probably get a decent set for about $150 with shipping. Uh, should be free shipping. I'll have a couple of different weight sets that I think are a good deal for, you know, better quality. But the bar did not bend in half like some people claimed it did. Now some people said, oh, as soon as he li they lift it up, it bent in half. I assume some people were just highly dra dramatizing things. It seems like it's, it holds it pretty good. I do want to attempt to do this. I think I got some strength. I think we can attempt to do arm curl this again. 100 pounds. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we got this. We got this, guys. 
Ain't no stopping us now. Come on, 100 pound arm curl. Let's do this. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, that's cheating though. See, I, see, I can't you go like that because that's using momentum. So we have to keep our arms down like this. Oh, there's just no way. No way I can arm curl that straight down like that. The best is using a little momentum. And even that's hard. Okay, guys. Maybe the next video I will be able I'm back. So I just took off 10 pounds on each side. So we took off 20 pounds. So the original weights are 100 pounds. So now we're working with 80 pounds plus the bar. So that's probably what? I mean, I guess the bar is around five pounds. So we're looking at 85 pounds. Can we arm curl 85 pounds without any training whatsoever? Well, let's see if, I don't even know. Is 85 pounds even that heavy arm curling for you know someone who doesn't work out? Um, oh, that feels a whole man. That 20 pounds off feels a whole world's difference. Oh yeah, one, two. Ugh. Woo! I think that's the weight we're gonna be training with. We're gonna train with 85 pounds. Just so you guys see that there is actually 85 pounds on there. Okay, so we got the two big ones. I'll show you the small ones off on the side here. These are the two small ones. They're 10, I don't know if you guys can read it, 10 pounds each. So we got those off on the side. 25 pound and a 50 pound on each side. Let's do it up closer here. I gotta like try and position this just right. I guess, that, man, I don't like that. <sighs> we gotta find a better, oh, now it's, the lighting's coming back better. But 85 pounds, that's heavy. At least it feels heavy. Ugh. Ugh, man. I actually have to admit, I'm a little shocked that I can even arm curl that. But two is about the maximum I can do per set. So 85 pounds two times. Man, that is a workout just doing, just doing that. Oh my word. I haven't sweat this much since I was a baby. Let me tell you. Just kidding. Um, oh my. Yeah, so I used to at the gym, I used to lift up, but I can't remember how heavy it was. I'd lift up and then put it behind my head and do this. A lot of people say, oh, that's bad for your shoulders. I never had any issues. I definitely don't think it was 80 pounds, though. Ugh. One, two, okay. I don't think I should overdo it. The first time lifting weights in five years. I think I probably should stop stressing my body a little bit, huh? What do you guys think? Alright, thanks for watching.